What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mr. E Box Monday! Yes! Starting another week off with a box full of awesomeness and as you can see there's a whole bunch of Matchbox power grabs in here. Uh, plus one extra one from last week uh, which is already open and there's also another open one there. So, ooh, there we go. As you can see, uh, we have some older Matchbox off to the side, off to this side. And over here, we have some brand new Matchbox. Yes, what is that? Ooh, okay. We'll get to that very soon. We'll get to that very soon. Oh, I hope everybody's had a good week. I'm sorry there was no video on Friday. I had technical difficulties with my computer. Uh, my computer decided to uh, not recognize my profile for some reason. So I was unable to access my computer. Uh, it, it works perfectly fine now. I don't know what happened, uh, but yeah, sorry about that. But don't worry, I'm going to make up for it because I have something very, very awesome planned for this week. So without further ado, we are going to reopen this Toyota Supra. This is the Auto World we opened up last week. And as you may remember, I was unable to open the bonnet of this. So I got my little knife out and I opened it up and now it actually opens up. So we're gonna start off today's episode with this. As you can see the paint, I don't know if you can actually see that. There's no paint on there anymore uh, as it was painted into the actual casting. It left the paint on that side there as I opened. Uh, it's not from me cutting away with the knife. That is because the paint was actually uh, poorly done. So missing that whole line of paint there now as it's stuck onto this side. Okay, let's just have a look at the engine. How cool is that? You can see the pipe work in there. Wow, very, very cool. We'll go over the review once again with the lensed headlights. You have the blacked out grill section, the black front splitter there, authentic wheels, very cool. You get your indicator and your brake light reflector thing on that side there, little marker lights. So left hand drive, very cool, nice clear window. It's got the wiper on the back there. Beautiful, beautiful tampos on the back. Super one on the license plate. Yes, it is the number one. I was trying to think, was that actually a one? There we go. Nice clean tail light details with the super badge there. Third brake light done too. Such a cool car. A little bit of a vent there for the brake. Awesome. Awesome. And there we go. There's the engine. Try and get a little bit more light into there. Awesome. So there we go, guys. We actually finally got to see the interior. So I'll put this box back over here. I'll put that back away later. Uh, next up, we will show the last car that I needed for the new Boulevard series. And this is the Custom 67 Pontiac Firebird, also known as the Hot Wheels designer Brendan Vitusky's car. No bonnet, but we have the beautifully detailed engine in the front there. Really cool five spoke wheels, nice light gray color, kind of like a primer gray. Has a black roundel. All the light details on the back there, license plate, very cool. And this beautiful, beautiful Zamac finish. Just such a stunning looking car. There we go, there's the front painted up. Very, very nice. So yeah, finally have all five of these cars. Hopefully I'll be able to find a second set so that we can actually review them and open them up. Because yeah, I'd like to actually get this set reviewed. Put that guy up the top there. Actually, we'll put this guy, put that in the center because it's kind of like, I don't really have that much stuff to show. Can we get a good angle? There we go, you can kind of see it there. All right, all right, let's get into the Matchbox Power Grabs and we need to pull this guy back out because I said last week that this does not actually have an interior, but it does. So just give me one second and let me just turn the flashlight on on my phone. Might be very hard to see through. So I can get the light in the back there. There you go. You can actually see there is an interior inside. So I'm very sorry for lying on last week's episode when I said that this was just a black piece of plastic. It is actually a full interior. It's just a very, very dark window. 
very nice little Honda electric E car. Very cool looking uh, front and rear lighting detail. Very nice. So yes, I apologize for lying to everybody last week when I said that that was uh, no interior. Let's just throw these up the back there. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of them. May as well make some sort of display out of them. All right, let's get into a brand new car. Brand new car, this is the Renault Kangoo Express. Very cool, I think this was last released in a pizza. Pizza delivery car? I don't know, maybe that was the Volkswagen Caddy that was released as a pizza. I'm not entirely sure. If anybody remembers what the last release of this was, please let me know in the comments below. And this one is in a, uh, a locksmith livery. That's cool, because I have actually seen these used as the locksmith vans. That's incredible. It's kind of like a gold, metallic gold colored paint job. Very nice. Home Auto Commercial Locksmith 24-7. The license number on the bottom on the, on there as well. Is that possibly the same license number? Uh, where's the number? There it is. MB1216. There we go. MB1216. They always do that. Matchbox always does that. Very cool. Gets these hubcap style wheels. Gets the grey plastic bumper. That's ugly. That looks ridiculously ugly. They could have at least made that black. I have to say, I think that would have looked a lot nicer if it was in black. There you go. There's that side there. Oh, Schlosser. Home commercial Schlosser. Wow, I didn't know that this was, is that, is that German? I, I, I don't know, I think that it might be German. Please, please let me know what language that is and does that just say the same as this stuff on this side? I can only assume that it would. Yes, I'm going to assume that it would just say the exact same thing. Throw that guy up the top there. Let's get into this guy, this guy's already open. I opened this a while ago, a long time ago. This would have been one of my very first few episodes, I think, of the Mystery Box Mondays. So if you want to see this opened, you'll have to go way, way back. Uh, this is the 2015 Corvette Stingray in the Polizei livery. Very nice. Nice white wheels. Lovely silver and light blue color combination. All the lovely headlights. I guess that black vent there on the front Corvette logo, Polizei. The headlights are beautiful on this. That's a little bit of a light bar on the top there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool indeed. It has a full police interior with the computer, everything like that, which is, wow, that is really awesome. That is really cool. A full police style interior. Awesome. Uh, number, unit number two on the side, 110, which is the phone number, the emergency phone number. Uh, no real light details, but wow, that's really cool. That is really cool. So yeah, nice, awesome Corvette Stingray. Let's get into a new one. Ah, uh -huh, here we go. The 2019 Volkswagen Beetle Convertible. And this is really cool because it's got these uh, whole old school wheels on it. Extra glue on this box. Add that to the pile. Wow, it's nice actually interior. The interior is very nice and this nicely detailed. The steering wheel leaves a little bit to be desired. Nice hubcap wheels with the chrome trim on the edge. Wow. Get the indicators down there. Nice bug eye looking headlights, Volkswagen logo. And this is like a metallic white or a pearl white. Uh, no, it's just a metallic white. So very nice, very nice. There's the soft top folded back there. On the back we have the lighting detail. Cowie VW on the license plate. Lots of lights on there, the logo there. A little bit of a light smoked window but yeah that's actually pretty cool i do like that let's add this guy down there 
Uh, we'll do this one. What's this one? Ooh, yes, I've been wanting to open this one for a while. The Range Rover Evoke. And I'm actually gonna have to cut these open because they are tapes closed. All right, wow. Wow, and I don't know if this one, I don't know if this one has an interior, so let me get my phone back out and turn the light back on. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, there is, there is definitely an interior. Awesome. It's the one thing I hate about when they do these super dark windows for the whole roof of the car. You can't actually see any of the interior. Nice paint job. That's a really nice gunmetal grey colour. Range Rover, grill details, all the light details. You got the fog lights on the front there as well. Wow. Blacked out wheels. There's the black fender flares running board and the fender flare over the back wheel there too. On the back here we have all the light details. Range Rover. Evoke badging and the rear brake lights down the bottom as well. The rear fog lights, I assume. Very, very nice. And this one was quite an old one now. 2015 copyright. Uh, does this say what year this was? Mm, I do not know what year this one's from. Where's the copyright? I think they're about 2015 from memory. Oh, there we go. 2016 copyright, 2017 was probably the release. So, yeah, there we go. Throw that up the top there. Let's go up this one. What's this one? The Ford Police Interceptor. And it looks like a, uh, looks like it doesn't have any markings on it on the box. So it'll be interesting to see what it actually looks like. Oh yeah. It is just a uh, unmarked police car. Very nice, still has the light bar on the top. Still has the Ram bar on the front there. Ford logo, nice headlight details too. Dark silver paint job. These police style wheels, <laughs> very cool. And does this one have the police interior? Yes, it does. Kind of hard to see with the dark smoked window, the dark tint on that window. On the back there we have the logos, the badging, the lighting. It's got that silver piece along the back of the rear boot. Very cool. And that's the spot where the lights are, I assume. I think that there's extra lights down the bottom there on police cars. Very cool. That's got a lot of stuff in it. Oh, I hate it when they make these things so dark. What's this? Let's get this light going. Oh, there we go. How cool is that? We can actually see the computer in there. Awesome. That looks cool. I really need to get better lighting, but <laughs> I keep saying that and I keep not getting better lighting. So sorry guys. Unfortunately, I have to make do with what I have. Next up is the Land Rover Defender 110. Very cool. And this one here is still sealed. Cool box though. I like these old power grabs. Throw that up there. Get rid of the rubbish. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's strange. That's like a uh, like a matte black kind of finish. It has this clear plastic orange window piece for the top with all the, the luggage pieces in it. And half of it is uh, metal. That's weird. I don't know why they did that. That's very, that's, that's very weird. Uh, on the front there we have the grey bumper with the little spotlights in there. Very cool. No front uh, painted headlight details unfortunately. Some old school off-road wheels. You don't see these very often anymore. And that are nature trees on the background mountainous livery. Land Rover Defender. Explore your world. Very nice. Kind of like a silver interior in there. Same color as this, I assume. 
very nice. All the junk on the top there. There's a chainsaw, some sleeping bags, and some bags of other stuff. Spare wheel cover on the back there. It's a ladder to go up to the top. That's very cool. On this side here, same livery. Gets the fuel uh, filler cap just there. Very nice. That's pretty cool actually. I do quite like that. Quite a lot of seating in the back there too. And a big post. Big, big post in the back there. <laughs> All right. Let's get into another new one, guys. Let's get into another new one. Oh, it's another police car. Let's go for something else. Yes, this is the old 1948 Willys Jeepster. This was recently released in a nice dark, kind of like a burgundy red color. It was really nice. I actually quite liked it. Uh, now we have kind of like, is this a mint green kind of color? Yes, this is the National Parks livery. Well, not National Parks livery. This is the National Parks mint green color. That's really cool. On the front there, we have all of the details. Nice bumper bar too, that looks pretty cool. I like the casting on that. That's that black section on the front there. I assume that's the Willys badge in the center. And these eyes, the headlights look like half asleep eyes. <laughs> How fun is that? Looks like something out of the Cars movie. You have the seat belts on the seats there, that's pretty cool. Pretty nice looking interior there too. There's a lot of gauges on the top there. Have the rear wheel car uh, on the back there, spare wheel on the back. And it appears to be the same type of wheel uh, with the W on the center. That's cool. Rear brake lights and wheelies on the license plate. Wow. That color and this style of car just really, really works. I quite like that a lot. I like that a lot. You'll have to let me know what you guys think of this. That color is just really, really nice. Very nice color. Let's just move some of these away so we can actually see what's going on up there. All right, no, no, no. Uh, no. Let's do one of these ones hiding over here. I've got a few cool ones in here. Uh, we we'll might as well do this one. This is a Fiat 500 X 2016 model. have a few different colors of this one now. This one is in a really dark British racing green kind of color. Really cool. Nice crany wheels. Guess the black fender flares running board on the side there. That ridiculous roof rack on the top there, which I've been waiting for them to remove because that just doesn't suit this casting. But that's just my personal opinion. I, I don't know. Where's that box gone? Where did I just throw that box? Oh, it's right there. I don't know if you can see. Oh no, it just looks like the actual car itself. There is another car, another recent casting of this, or recent uh, release of this, I should say, which actually has a picture of the car, and they actually show what the roof rack looks like. So it doesn't look anything like this, I'll, I'll tell you that much. Anyway, on the front here we have the cool Fiat badge, nice headlight details, it's your fog light, blacked out grill, very cool, very, very cool. On the back here we have the same, once again with the awesome rear lighting detail, Fiat 500X on this uh, silver piece here, Fiat logo, very awesome. Does this one have an interior? Yes, this one does have an interior. So, just going <laughs> to, I'm just going to verify as much as I can from now on, on interiors, because some of these windows are so dark, it's just impossible to see through. All right, let's go on to this one. Oh no, we'll leave that one for later because that one's a really good one. We'll do a brand new car, the uh, Volkswagen GTI. That's actually pretty nice. Nice metallic black paint. Nice clean headlight details. You get that red line on the, the front there and the grill. 
Wow, that just looks really, really cool. Really cool. Guess these chromey 10 spoke or 20 spoke wheels. However many spokes there are, there's quite a few. Black interior. Guess a bit of silver paint or, oh no, sorry, that's just a piece of the, the base. Yeah, that actually looks pretty nice and neat how they've done that. Looks pretty good, I love to say. On the back here, we have the giant post in the center where you can see it. That looks terrible. That is enormous. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, we'll, we'll ignore the post there because everybody knows how much I absolutely hate the post. Uh, GTI life on the license plate. Nice, clean light detail. It's really nice tempo design how they've done the rear lights on that. Uh, Volkswagen logo also. Uh, GTI badge. Very cool. And the grey bumper and the giant post. Ah, oh, it's too big. <laughs> They're just ruining castings by putting these giant posts in them. All right, let's get into the police car. The 2016 Ford Police Interceptor Utility. Very cool. All right, I've got a few different versions of this car now, I think. And what's this? What's this police state on this one? I can't quite read that. Service, pride, integrity. Uh, if anyone else can read what that says on the side there, not too sure. And it's emergency 911. Yes, a bit of the rear brake light on the side there. Aha, awesome. It has a tow bar, a little tow hook. That's cool. I'll be able to use that on the uh, speed trap. Very cool. Big ram bar on the front there. Gets half the headlight painted on the side. Light bar on the top there is pretty cool. And the full police interior with the computer and everything inside there. Awesome. Big post in the back window you can see. Can't see anything through the back window because of the post. Ah. I'm just going to move on to the next car. Let's just move on to the next car. Those posts are just frustrating. They, they just ruin the casting. And that's, that is 100% my opinion. But I think, I think that's something that they need to stop doing. Because, it, yeah. Move on to the next car. Sorry, this is the 1934 Chevy Master Coupe. Wow, this is like a full old school gangster's car. Something you see Al Capone driving around in. That's really cool. Really, really cool. I do like this. Nice red paint job. Wow. It's kind of like a dark, dark red, that. Awesome. Also has some blemishes inside the paint. And that's actually not too bad a thing to see because it, it looks like it was actually painted by hand. I don't know. I think that adds a little bit more character to that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little bit of blemish in the coloring there. So this side looks like this side here is perfect all right well look at this side look at the size of that big chrome grill wow guess the chrome bumpers i love the two-tone effect with the black fenders and running boards oh well, that's awesome old school wheels with the little hub cap very nice spare wheel on the back there those bumpers just having that little tiny bit of chrome for the bumpers is awesome. Wow, that is a very, very well constructed casting. I like that a lot. And you can see there's a little tiny interior. I'll try and get the light in here again. There you go. I'm gonna to have to invest in some lighting. Very nice, nice headlights on the front there too. Wow. I think this is going to be one of my new, more favorite castings. I like that a lot. That is really, really nice. Very nice. Put that guy up there. And we'll jump into, all right, we'll get into this one. We'll get into this one. This one here is the 1959 Chevy Wagon. Yes. Oh, and this one comes in a plastic bag. 
Put that over there. Very nice red paint job. Guess that silver trim down the side there. Handle, uh, door handles are all painted up there too. Old hubs cap wheels. Guess the chrome grill and bumper. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, this one definitely does not have an interior. Uh, as it has a plastic piece for this canoe to hold into which is actually interchangeable on other uh, pieces and other cars and trailers so you can change it to a small boat uh, you can get like a whole bunch of junk like a uh, the trailer trawler is really good to swap with this one uh, chrome bumper on the back there no rear lighting detail but it's a red car so you can't really see much I love the wings they're cool. Such a cool, cool looking car. Wow. Definitely a good one. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. This one here is the BMW 2015 BMW i3 65th anniversary uh, release. Throw the box up the back there. Awesome. Going into the electric car collection. Big clear window on the front there. Pretty good interior. I like that. This one also has a post in the center, but we're not going to talk about that. We are not talking about the post. On the front we have the blue kidneys, BMW badge headlights, extra detailing on this on there as well with the extra lights. Wow, it's pretty cool. Little section for the license plate to go in. A little bit more blue on the side there to show that it's electric. And the cool details on the back. Wow, that's awesome. Very nice. I do like the lights. And the whole section on the back there looks very, very cool. That's awesome. I have to put that guy there. Still got a few cars left, guys. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Still going. All right, the last of the new cars. I think this is the last of the new cars. Yes, the last of the new cars is a Mustang 19, 2019 Ford Mustang Coupe. And this is in a Brembo race livery. Throw the box up there. Here we have nice metallic white paint job. And the GT on the side. Get the little pony there, number 19, Brembo. Gets these red wheels with the knockoff centers. Wow, that's pretty cool. Proper racing wheels. <laughs> uh, no front headlight details, unfortunately. Do get a black grill section. Very nice. Same details on the side. Very cool. Gets the red and silver striping going through there as well. And on the back, uh, no rear lighting detail, unfortunately. Uh, I think I've mentioned this before. The Mustang is one car, much like the Skyline, uh, which needs to have the rear lights on it because it's such an iconic part of the car. So, very cool. I'm going to start putting these ones down here. I was going to pull these out of the way. Oops. Get these out. Get the box out of the way. Kind of... <laughs> Messed everything up, didn't I? There we go. All right, let's go. Let's just go. Next up, we have the 1955 Ford F-150 delivery truck. It's such a cool looking car, this one too. Ooh, this is a uh, in a, a matte or a flat paint job. That's nice. Matchbox City Store, open all year. Wow, truck 11, nice white, extra details on the side of it. That cool old school paint on the, uh, the sign there, it looks awesome. Giant chrome grill on the front there, that's awesome, wow. That looks really, really cool. Coming out to this side, same writing on this side. On the back there, no paint details on the back for the braking, but we do get the chrome bumper. Awesome. Wow, that that is really cool. Really, really cool. I like that one quite a lot. Let's put that guy down. I like that one. That's, I like that one a lot. 
Let's go. What do we do one? Which one do we want to do? Ooh. I'm going to do the Jeep Gladiator. The 2005 Jeep Gladiator. Awesome. Let's see what this guy looks like. Throw the box up the top there. I don't believe that I've actually had one of these from a Matchbox before. I think this is the only one. Oh wait, no. I have a green version, a more recent version of this casting in green. Very cool. This one has the spare wheel on the side here. And it's the same style of wheel. Very cool. And yeah, you don't see these wheels very often anymore. I think they might have stopped using them for a while. Gladiator on the side there. Gets the grey bash bar on the front there. It's probably got a winch in there too. It's got the hooks for one uh, to be towed out of wherever it breaks down. No headlight details. Grey fender flares. Uh, fuel cap hole, I think, maybe. Not too sure what that little silver circle is. Jeep cast in to the tailgate. Very nice. And you see the silver latching for the doors and the latching for the bonnet there as well. That's really nice actually. I do like that. I like the spare wheel on the side. That is definitely different. Put this guy down here and next up we will do the 2000 Chevy Suburban. What's in the delivery of this one? A Sheriff. Ooh, this one also comes with a thick plastic bag. Comes in a metallic gold color. Very nice light gold kind of color. No painted headlight details, but we do get the Chevy bow tie in the center there. Old school hubcap wheels. Boone County Sheriff. Uh, they use, Matchbox uses Boone County quite a lot. Um, does anybody know where this is? Like whereabouts in America is Boone County? Uh, if you guys know any more about uh, the Boone County Sheriff Department, let me know. Chuck it down in the comments. I'd love to know a little bit more about uh, the department because Matchbox uses them quite a lot. I think I've got three or four different uh, Boone County Sheriff vehicles now. Uh, this comes with the tow bar, the tow hook on the back there. Also has the steps on the rear bumper. That's really cool. This one doesn't look like it has a police interior. It just appears to have a standard interior. Just in this grey plastic. Very cool. Chevy Suburban. Yeah, if you guys know about Boone County, chuck it down in the comments. Educate me, because I am not from America. And I don't know where Boone County is. Alright, uh, last two cars. We're going to do the Chrysler 300 first, and we'll finish it off with this. Whoa, that's cool. Throw that other box over there. Let's get into this guy. Very nice. There I go, dropping it already. Nice dark metallic grey colour, or a dark metallic silver. Now it's more of a more of a grey than a silver. Nice chromed out grill. Headlight details are pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Silver interior by the looks of it. Uh, what are they? They're just like a brushed aluminium kind of colour. They're not chrome, they're just like a silver alloy colour on the wheels there. On the back here we have the nice detailed rear tail lights. You get your badging, you get your Chrysler badge on the back there, which is huge. Wow, the 300 also there. Cool. I do quite like this car. I'd actually, I'd actually really uh, enjoy owning one of these if I ever had the chance. If I ever get the opportunity to to buy a Chrysler 300 or a 300C, I, I think I probably would. All right, next up, the last car for the day. Unfortunately don't have anything left. This is the last one we're going to open. Oh, well, don't worry. There's still something off to the side here, which I know that you're all going to be very excited to see. Uh, anyway, Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. 
Wow. Very cool. Very cool. Let's get into this. Throw that up there. Let's have a look at this. Wow. It's actually, uh, it's got a, a kind of a brown top on the roof there, a yellow body, and red grill and flares, plus a black bumper and base. That's a <laughs> quite a combination there. On the side here we have the Toyota off-road team. That's pretty cool. Number 54. A lot of extra silver paint on the side there. And the yellow Toyota goes from black, yellow, then red checkers, or black checkers, then red checkers. That's awesome. No headlight details, but you don't really need it because this is such a cool casting. Old school off-road wheels. Wow. A red interior, the same color as this. Very nice. And on the back there, all oh, the doors, the... Uh, what is that? What is that thing? I don't know what that thing is. I do not know what that thing is. If you guys know what that thing is, is that just the license plate? Quite possible. And a little step on the rear, the rear bumper there. Awesome. There you go, guys. That is going to just about bring us off to the end, bring us to the end of the episode. But don't you worry, because coming up this week, we have the Hot Wheels Mystery Models Series 3. Yes, and this one is UFO themed. That is absolutely awesome. Big giant UFO there abducting all the Hot Wheels. Ah, oh, this is just so cool. So you'll have to come back on Friday for this episode, because yes, this Friday, I will 100% be opening up all of these awesome cars, including the DMC DeLorean and the Nissan Skyline RS KDR30 and the Chevy Super Volt, and then all of these other awesome fantasy castings. Very, very cool. So yes, Friday, Friday, Friday. Make sure you come back because we will be opening this. Let's get this. That'll do. That'll do for now. And then I also have, for a little special episode to make up for Friday's episode not happening, tomorrow, yes, that's right, you heard me. Tomorrow, we're gonna do a little episode of this uh, Matchbox 9-pack with the exclusive uh, Jeep Superlift thingy. Not entirely sure. There's a better picture of it down there. So yes, to make up for the no episode on Friday, or last Friday, we're gonna open up this. And also, this week, <laughs> I'm gonna do a video every day. Every day this week, to make up for last week's no episode, we're gonna get an episode tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for that, and then Saturday and Sunday, to bring us a full week of madness. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Get yourselves ready because all week you're going to have something new. So yes, tomorrow we have this, Friday we have that, and during the week we're going to just bring out a few little extra things from the collection just for the fun of it. And uh, yeah, hope you all enjoy. So yeah, please leave all your comments down below. I'd love to know what you guys think. Uh, did you enjoy this? Did you like me cracking out some brand new cars and some old school cars? Definitely really cool. Very happy to have found the last car for the Boulevard series. I can't wait to open up this. Oh, that's going to be awesome. UFO themed. <laughs> it's just insane. Uh, you, know, you guys know I love my sci-fi stuff, so anything UFO related, I am all about. So yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to wish you all a fantastic day. Make sure you take care of yourselves. Be excellent to each other and have fun. Make sure you always have fun. And so, yeah, until next week, take care. And I'll see you all then. Bye, guys.